Hi, Livy. So I haven't, didn't hear back from you, but it's a big haul that I have today. And I also have a, a very small um, Hobby Lobby haul. I w swear to God, I went maybe three or four aisles in Hobby Lobby when you first walk in the door and I couldn't go anymore because I knew I would spend more money. So I just, I quit. But, um, so I'm gonna do this part of the haul of Walmart just the non-food items. I'm trying to keep them small so they upload faster. So I'm gonna do the non-food items. I don't have my receipt so um, because I do Walmart pay, so I can't tell you how much I paid for everything, but I spent a lot of money. It was probably $179, but I bought quite a bit of food, but I also bought like non-food items and I bought a couple of um, clothing items and the clothes were like 12 or $13 each or something like that. So, um, so I'm going to show you the non-food items that I got. I needed some more fabric softener and um, I've been having like itchiness at some nights, not every night, but some nights. I don't know if it's related to, um, to the fabric softener or detergent that I use, but I don't think so. So I might have to figure that out. But anyway, the new new fabric softener, and I really like the smell of this. I smelled a lot of them, and a lot of them are just so awful, like overpowering. But this is nice. This is the Gain Moonlight Breeze. So I got that. Um, again, with my itchiness, um, Benadryl is like the only thing that really helps. But even a half a Benadryl makes me feel groggy. So like I took a half a Benadryl yesterday, and I still feel groggy today, even after coffee, even after water and eating, I still feel groggy. So I bought children's Benadryl. <laughs> so I'm going to try that. Um, I got some Tide washing machine cleaner because when this um, washing machine dies, we are going to get a top load. I don't remember my mom's top load washer ever having a smell and I cannot get rid of the smell in our washing machine. I've cleaned it with tablets. I've cleaned it with um, like baking soda and vinegar or something like that. And it just keeps coming back. It works like a cup for a couple loads or whatever. And then it comes back. So I try to keep the door open. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try this Tide. It says a superior odor and residue removal. So we're going to try that. Um, I had gotten the Cuisinart um, oven mitts. It was like a set of oven mitts and pot holders or whatever from Sam's. I love them. They're beautiful, but they're way big. Even for dad's hands, they're way big. So I just got these mini oven mitts, which I thought were so cute. Um, I like the stripes and I like the red. So the ones I have are, I don't know if you remember seeing them, but they are these ones. So that's the color. And so it, I think that looks nice together. Anyway, yeah, the, the oven mitts are humongous. So I got these. Um, I think you showed me maybe, or somebody showed me, I think it was you, um, the mini mason jar or something with the um, wax melt in it and you put it in your car. So that is what I'm going to try to do. Um, this is like the hundredth wax melt I smelled. <laughs> I mean, this, this was the best one. So I was trying to find one that was like coconut, but they always had like different scents in there that I didn't like. So this is Tonka and Oud, and I don't know what Tonka is, but Oud smells good. So it's called Cuddle Up. So I'm going to try that in my car. And I got two other candles. Um, Mainstays has some new scents. This is Summer Roads. It smells so good. I can't really tell you what it smells like. Let me see if I can tell you. Let's see. I don't know. It's a, it's a very subtle, though, smell, and it, it's nice. And then, whoops, and then this one, which looks very similar. It's not the same candle. I hope it's not. <laughs> oh, no, this is salted caramel butterscotch. And, yeah, it smells really good, just like you would think. So, and those are all of the non-food items. Oh, no, that isn't true. I did get um, a couple of clothing items. So I got this dress, which it's hard to show you. Um, it's hard to show what the dress really looks like, I guess. See, that's the back. And then that's the front. And I, it's super, super soft. Um, it's kind of a scarf hem. And the lady, when I was checking out, she says, oh, this will be nice for 4th of July. And I didn't even think of that. It's just really comfortable. So maybe I'll wear it for 4th of July. And then, whoops. And then, sorry. And I got this really cool shirt. Or at least I think it's cool. Um, it's, a co it's a collared shirt. It's a men's shirt. It's a men's small. 
but it has like all these very cool designs on it and I thought it would be really cool as an outfit maybe a part of an outfit for like stage or whatever so uh, so I got that here you go and that is all the non-food items I got oh you know that's not true either I got freezer paper but I'll just show you in the next video okay